don't be a lukewarm Christian. Let's go to Mark chapter 8, verse 36. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Let me take an aspect of this. What this is saying to me, one aspect of this, I guess you can say, I believe this is also saying placing so much before God pretty much placing God on the back burner. Okay. It is okay to be interested in the non-sinful things that you like. Non-sinful. It is okay to be interested in hairdos, shoes, clothes, homes, cars, <laughs> string, <laughs> hangers, whatever. It is okay, but what is not okay is to have those things consume much of your time more than God. So pretty much as an example, you are giving God 5% of your time and you are giving things of this world 95%. That is no good. If you are doing that, that is not good. You may say to me, Kevin, I continue to sin and I don't know why. I believe, and I can be wrong about this, you continue, or one of many reasons why you continue to sin is because you are not giving God your time. Think about this. Let's say I am close to person A and person B, but with person A, I contact person A quite often. Person B, I don't contact much. So who do you believe I am going to be more close to? Person A, why? Because I contact person A much more often. I am going to, chances are, I am going to know person A much better than person B because I contact person A more than person B. So how can I get upset by not knowing person B as much as person A? How can you be confused? Why? It is so easy for you to sin and so hard for you to do what God wants you to do. You are contacting, for an example, you are contacting Mr. Sin, Mr. World, Mr. Carnal so often. You are contacting Jesus so little. So, of course, you are going to be more carnal than spiritual. Why? Because you are contacting Mr. Carnal. Please listen. Listen. 
if you spend most of your time with carnal things, things of this world, more than the things of God, of course, you are going to be much more attracted to the things of this world. So the things of God is not really going to mean anything to you because you are neglecting it. You are not really spending time with it. Please listen. Whatever you give your focus to, your mind to, your body to, as in your actions and you are involved with it, chances are you are going to follow what you give your time to. This is really a simple concept here. If you spend more time with earthly things, you are going to be earthly. If you spend more time with things of God, chances are you are going to do his will much more than a person who spends their time with things of this world. Please listen. So, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What this is saying, why are you spending so much of your time with things of this world when you are going to die one day and lose all earthly things that you have gained in this world. Let me say this. What if I told you, hey, I want you to work 70 years and you can buy everything you want. But what I am going to do once you reach your peak, I am going to come to your house and burn down everything. What are you going to do? Chances are, you may say to me, Kevin, I am going to stop you. Let's say that you can't stop me. Are you going to spend most of your time gathering trinkets? or things of this world? You know that I am going to destroy everything that you have now. So why would you focus much of your time in trying to build your life when what you have made in this life is not coming with you when you die. What comes with you when you die, I guess I can say, is your record. What you have done for God. So if you built your life primarily for this world by gaining stuff, money and stuff like that, if you only did that and not or did not do anything for God, you wasted your life. I don't care how rich you are. If you aren't doing anything for God, you have wasted your life. So I pray that this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you tell someone that you love them. God bless you.